Hi, it's Alicia from The Pretty Brown Eye Reader. Today I am coming with a book review. I am going to review I Almost Forgot About You by Terry McMillan. This is Terry McMillan's latest um, release. She is a prolific author. She has written many books that have later been turned into movies. And I've read all of her books except for one or attempted to read all of her books except for one. I haven't read her book Mama. So, but she's one of my favorite authors. And so anytime she puts a book out, I always want to check it out and find out, you know, what is she writing about now? So, um, I almost forgot about you. I'll read the blurb that is that was on the old magazine recommendations page for it. Neek Georgia Young, a 50-something optometrist whose comfortable life is upended by news of her first boyfriend's death in a car accident. Georgia reacts to the joke by chuckling her career, putting her house on the market, and resolving to track down all her past sweethearts. Lucky for her, two of her college friends and her daughters are always there to catch her if she falls. Well, from that premise, from that um, blurb that was in the old magazine, I was like, ooh, I gotta, I gotta get my hands on uh, Terry McMillan's latest work. And so I put my name on, on the whole list at the library and it came up rather, rather quickly. So I was very excited to be able to uh, check the book out and uh, read it. And so now I want to share my thoughts with you. The book has very the elements of Terry McMillan style, you know, a strong black woman, um, financially independent, successful careers, um, is set in California, you know, most of her books are set in California, Southwest, um, America, that kind of thing. Um, so in that aspect, it was very much like Terry McMillan's uh, previous work. Also, um, to me, there were some the main character Georgia had some of the same traits as some of the previous characters that that were in some of, in her other books. Um, for those who try not to say too much, so I don't give away the whole book. But anyone that reads the book will be really like, "Oh yeah, yeah, that sounds like Stella. That sounds like Betty." Um, other characters that she's written before. The um, Another thing about the book that I think threw me a little bit was that it's not actually set in present day. Um, the main character, Georgia, she's talking about going to her 40th uh, class reunion. And later on in the book, she talks about graduating in 1972 from high school. And I thought to myself, I'm like, my mom graduated in 1972, and she had her 40th anniversary a long time, you know, quite a while ago, a few years ago. And so that kind of threw me off a little bit. So um, when you're reading the book, um, a caution that it's not actually like set in 2016. It's probably more closer to 2011, 2012. So, um, but I don't think that's clear until later on in the book so that that threw me a little bit for and while reading it um and i do think it's more for a mature audience than someone uh who's used to the characters like in waiting to exhale or uh disappearing acts is more geared toward someone later in life that is looking toward almost retirement age um did I think it was a terrible book? No. I think it's it's a very solid book. It's um it's written well. It's just not a grab you like um I think for probably like up until like the midpoint of the book, you you're reading like, okay, what's gonna happen as she's contacting all these relations. It doesn't bring the kind of drama, the kind of mm that you're thinking it would. So it's a solid book. Um is it the best Terry McMillan? No. Is it the worst? No. If you read um, Terry McMillan's latest book, Almost Forgot About You, please let let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you're a Terry McMillan fan, please let me know what's your favorite Terry McMillan book. What's your least favorite Terry McMillan book? Let's have a conversation in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day.